may have observed when I was putting up examples on this half of the board earlier was using end punctuation with quote marks. And there are certain rules for how it works. And they're not always very logical. So when we have end punctuation, with quote marks. Uh, first of all, your period and your comma are always inside. The closing quote mark, at least here in the United States. This is one of these areas where in different parts of the world there are different rules that apply, but here in the United States, periods and commas are always inside the quote marks. So um, I have something like, um, before reading, quote, to build a fire, comma, close quote, I got myself a hot cup of tea. So what we have here is quote marks around the title. This is a short story. So we have quote marks around the title. And you'll see the comma is inside those quote marks. Um, likewise, if you have a period, um, you can say, I really enjoyed. to build a fire, period, close quote. So periods and commas are always going to be inside your closing quote mark. Now, your colon and your semicolon, those are always going to be outside the closing quotes. And again, this is specifically the rules in the United States. Uh, in fact, in Britain, these things are actually the opposite. So um, if you have something where you've got a semicolon, uh, you will have it outside. Um, I read to build a fire close quote, semicolon, I enjoyed it. So our semicolon then is outside our quote marks. And likewise, if we had a colon in the sentence, that would go outside our closing quote marks. Now, <coughs> the final uh, set of punctuation marks are the question mark and the exclamation point. And those, it depends. Those are going to be inside if they're part of the quote. And they're going to be outside if they're part of the sentence. So, um, going back, I've now changed my mind about what my favorite Beatles song is. I've now decided my favorite Beatles song is Help! Exclamation point. Qu close quote. The exclamation point is part of the title of the song. Since the exclamation is part of the title, it's inside the quote marks with the rest of the title. Uh, on the other hand, if our, uh, our exclamation point or our question mark is part of the bigger sentence outside the quote, it goes outside the quote. So I might say, have you read, quote, to build a fire, close quote, question mark. 
So in this case, the whole sentence is a question. The question mark is not part of the title of the story. The question mark is part of the bigger outer sentence. And by the way, just in case um, you have a conflict, maybe there's a question mark both inside and outside. Um, rather than using two question marks, uh, at that point the convention is to just use the question mark inside the quote marks. Uh, if you ever have that kind of uh, confusion where you've got two reasons to have the quote or the question mark. But anyhow, so these are the rules that you want to work with in terms of using quote marks. Make sure not to misuse them.